Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, I was actually shooting a, um, a video. Oh, well, I was making a video, but I stopped it because I got a better idea. Um, this is pretty much me explaining what the biggest flaws in coding boot camps are. Now, if anybody from a coding boot camp is watching this, you can correct me if I'm wrong in anything that I say, right? But this is from my personal experience. This is from what I've seen. And I just want to talk about it. My brother sent me an article on a certain boot camp. I'm not going to name it because uh, I don't want to get in trouble. But it's one of the boot camps where you pretty much just don't pay until you get a job. And uh, <clears throat> pretty much the problem with it was that people weren't liking the curriculum and they were asking for their money back. Now, is this the boot camp's fault? I can't blame the boot camp 100%. But I can blame people for not doing their research before they join a, a, a boot camp. Um, so, per, uh, so this is me. I'm going to explain to you what I think the flaws is in, in, in most of these boot camps. <clears throat> the, the main flaws with this, one of the main flaws with these boot camps is that the message that they're putting out there when they make their their commercials or their ads is that. They're not really explaining to people the process, you know what I mean? When you tell somebody that they don't have to pay until they get a job, you're not specifying if they're not going to have to pay anything until they get a coding job or until they get a regular job. You know what I mean? That's something that has to be specified because a lot of people are going to join your program thinking that, okay, I'm going to join this boot camp and I don't have to pay them back until I get a coding job and then they get a job at in and out so they can survive and let's say they're for some reason they're making 30k a year and you start taking that money out of their check they're gonna be like well it's not a coding job and you're gonna well, we told you we, we were gonna take money once you got a 30k plus job we didn't specify that it had to be a coding job you, you need to. I understand that it's all about marketing and getting people to join these boot camps, but that's why anybody who's going to join a boot camp needs to do the research before they actually join one. Make a list of questions of, of, of requirements that you're looking for and ask those questions before anything. The, the second flaw is that you're not really telling people that, hey, we can't guarantee you a job. The only time that they that boot camps will tell you that they don't guarantee you a job is if you ask. I, I when I, I like when I was when I when I was looking for boot camps to join, I was never told that information that they wouldn't guarantee a job. I wasn't even told that they didn't really have connections to actual companies. They were, they were sending me links for stuff that was on, 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 on LinkedIn jobs, on Glassdoor, and I was like, what is this? This is something I could have done on my own. So that's flaw number two, that, that they don't actually specify like, oh yeah, we have connections to Google, to Apple, to, to startups, you know, we can get you an internship, we could do this. Nothing. Nothing like that. And this is why you guys have to make your list of questions before anything. This other flaw that I find is that even though I know that this is a coding boot camp and, and I know that there are most coding boot camps depending on what type they are, either full stack or whatever, they range from eight weeks to eight months. <laughs> Now, why is that? Because obviously, a lot of the boot camps that are out here, or the, a lot of the boot camps on online, they're based off university curriculum or college curriculum, where 
it's a com pretty much a computer science degree cut into eight months and all you're all they're giving you is just the coding classes that you would have taken and coming a computer science degree my, my problem with that is that specifically full stack developing boot camps is that they're spending three weeks on each language which is nowhere near enough for somebody to even start understanding the basics of a language there's absolutely at least I don't I mean you if there's some prodigy out there, correct me if I'm wrong. But three weeks per language, people are barely starting to warm up at the third week and barely starting to understand what that language is about and what it does and what's, what's the different functionalities of it. That's my main problem. Boot camps, I feel like, should be a little bit longer. Or... There should be more boot camps out there concentrating on a single language like JavaScript or Python or, or whatever the case may be. Or if you're going to do a front end developer boot camp, just concentrate on the front end part of that boot camp. Because when, P, when, when you go out to the job market, there's a 90% chance that you're not going to need either the front end or the back end. You're going to need one or the other but not both at the same time. If you go work, at, unless you're working for a startup that requires you to know front end, back end, you're probably not gonna use both at the same time. I mean, there might be a very small chance if somebody calls and says, but I have asked hundreds, and, I, and I'm not even exaggerating. I work as an Uber driver in the Silicon Valley. So I have literally picked up hundreds of software developers, software engineers. And every time I ask them, or I tell them like, oh, you know, I went through a full stack developer uh, bootcamp, they're like, oh, that's great. You know, you know, a little bit of everything. When I asked them, it was like, and working at Google, do you need to know, is there any job that would require you to know the front end or the back end? They're like, a lot of times, no, because they either have the back end team and they have a front end team but really, it's just n not really. Same thing goes with Apple. Same thing goes with Facebook. I'm sure there is full stack developer jobs. But a lot of times, these big companies have separate teams to concentrate on s certain languages, front end, back end, middle, servers, whatever. They have their own teams. So the biggest thing is like, Make sure people understand the one language that they feel like they're going to need in the job market. Because I personally think, and from what I've asked, not only in HR to HR people, but actual engineers, senior engineers that have been in the field for 15, 20 years, they have told me they prefer somebody who knows one language from top to bottom then five different languages the basics why is that because if you know one language in debt that means that they don't really have to train you that means that if you can prove that you know that one language in debt you have a higher chance of getting that job than if you know five different languages and you only know the basics of those five different languages because not a lot of ninety nine percent of the time, they're just gonna put you either in the front and uh, uh, in, in the JavaScript team, or the front end developer team, or the back end team. They're not gonna put you. They're not gonna be jumping you around because they need you to concentrate on that one thing. Again, there is cases where if you go over for a startup, they might require you to know a little bit of everything. But the, most of the market is just please know one language in that. And this is coming from people who have been engineers or software developers for 15 plus years who their job is to hire new developers to have experience. And that's one of the biggest flaws in the boot camp 
is that they want to cram so much knowledge into you in such a, mo- a, a short amount of time that when you're done with the program, if you get through it, you're going to feel like you just didn't learn anything. You're going to be like, okay, but I don't really remember what, like, if let's say you're doing SQL last and you're like, shoot, uh, I don't really remember my JavaScript thing. And then you have to go and like redo the JavaScript and it's like, oh man, but I don't really remember. And that's the whole problem that it's, it's, it's just so tough that they're, you know, to learn when they're cramming so much stuff into you. And you just, you just feel like, you literally feel like you just didn't learn anything. You feel like, what the heck just happened is like, just a dream. Like, you don't know what just happened. And and that's the major flaw. One of the major flaws. Another flaw that I've noticed is that, and this is probably one of the most, if not the most important one. Really no bootcamp has an algorithm class. And... From the interviews that I've had, most of them require you to do an algorithm coding question. Actually, all of them require you. All the interviews that I've done have required me to do some sort of algorithm coding question. People are going to tell you, like, oh, you can just go only code and learn that. Okay, or you can just buy a book to to, to learn how to do that. Okay, so you're not going to teach me the one thing that's either going to get me a job or not. That's the way that I see it. You know what I mean? It's like, why? Why are you not teaching people how to do algorithm coding questions? That alone should be at least a four or five week class to teach people, to give people those coding questions because that is what's literally 99% of the time going to get them a job. Yes, coding will also help in that situation. I, I'm not saying it won't. But if you know how to code, and you can't do an algorithm question, you're still not going to get that job. I don't, it doesn't matter if you have five years under your belt, ten years under your belt. Any Google has, I think, like five interviews. They, uh, one of them is the phone interview. And I think you have, if you pass that one, then you go into the Google campus. And I believe they do another four more that day. Well, not that same day as the phone interview, but they plan it out. And if you don't do one or even one of those right, they just won't call you back. That's the way it works. You can be like, oh, well, let me show you my portfolio. Sometimes that will work where you're just like, you know what? Um, can I show you my portfolio first? You know, like before we get into the, the interview question and then that way they can be like, okay, like maybe we can... But if you don't know how to do a coding interview question, then you might as well just, no. Unless you have a buddy who can get you into a company without with just skipping all that. But why? Why does no boot camp? Actually, I'm lying. Freecodecamp.org. A free boot camp actually has algorithm questions that you can do. Why is it that one that's free compared to something that you have to pay $15,000, $20,000 for, they don't have a class like that. It's, it's, you see what I mean? It's like, you need to understand that yes, it's, it's good to learn to code. It's good to learn the basics, but it's completely pointless if somebody can't pass an interview. If you're just telling them like, okay, you know, here's a list of things you can do to help you get a job then why did I just pay $15,000 for if that's what you're supposed to help me with? I would rather pay $15,000 for a bootcamp that's going to teach me how to do algorithms that I know is actually going to land me a job 
then pay fifteen thousand dollars for three weeks of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Node.js, um, Angular JS, MongoDB, NoSQL. Because that's something that I can literally go online and learn for free anyways. Or go on team team uh, teamtreehouse.com and pay $25 a month for. See, and this is this is why I tell people because I've already experienced this. Do your research. This Google recruiter guy that I'm talking to he, he, he literally gave me a list of books that were going to help me pass the coding interview. Now, I'm, I, I still have to plan that out. But the fact that I'm gaining more knowledge from a recruiter at Google than any coding boot camp that's out there right now is astonishing to me. There's some of these boot camps around here literally taking people's money. And they're just, they don't care. They really don't care. You guys in the comments below tell me, what would you prefer to pay 20K for? Something that's actually going to land you a job or something that might land you a job? It's, it's, it's the flaw. You know what I mean? And that is probably the biggest flaw that all of these boot camps have. None of them can promise you a job, which that's fine. You can't guarantee anything. So you might get in trouble, but you can help people land that job if you teach them the right things. So why is this not happening? So many more people would literally join boot camps if you can actually show them a graph of your, your, your student to hire ratio. And I promise you, if you teach people how to do algorithms, your hiring ratio is going to go a lot higher. And guess what? A lot more people would want to join your boot camp, which means more profit. But it's not happening. Even even some of the um, some of these courses online from um, a tech lead in Joma, like yeah, they're they they they're, they're teaching people how to do coding interviews, but the only problem with that is that they're not also going into debt. They're not actually telling people what makes an algorithm function. They'll teach you what algorithm how to solve a problem with a certain algorithm. But they also like, uh, this is O of this. And it's like, what does that mean? What does O of this mean? So, do I recommend people to join coding boot camps in 2020? That all depends. That all depends what sort of knowledge you're looking for. That all depends if you can find the knowledge for free online. And that all depends if, if these coding boot camps can actually change their curriculums. I'm not saying they're bad. I'm not saying that they don't help people because they do. I, I actually learned a lot when I went to the coding boot camp. I'm not going to lie. I did learn a lot. But my biggest regret was to come to find out that... I didn't learn the most important thing that was going to help me land a job, which was algorithms. And I'm not trying to, not, to tell anybody not to join this certain boot camp or that certain boot camp. I'm not here to do that. I'm not here to knock boot camps. Um, you know, I'm not here to, say, to, to tell you anything. And I'm not here to tell you anything. I'm here to just to give you guys the knowledge that I've experienced, that I've lived through, and to tell you guys that there is some huge flaws in this. Just the same way that there's some huge flaws in the uni uh, in the college and universities. Another flaw, and I know this video is gonna uh, it's kind of long, but there's just so many flaws in these things, guys. That I'm just astonished how. 
all these CEOs have not figured this out. Another flaw is internships. I understand that for an eight month program, you should, they don't really, obviously they're not gonna require you to do an internship. But do you understand how much that would help people? Let's say from eight months, you extend the program to one year. So you're adding eight, uh, well, you're adding another four months, four months, even, yeah, you're adding another four months to the program. But if you can literally get connections to give some of these students internships at some companies for four months, even if they're not paid, the knowledge that they're going to learn in those four months, it's it's just astonishing. And, and, and the effect that that's going to have in their career, even more astonishing. And this is what I mean. A lot of these boot camps are missing the most important thing that's actually going to help people in their careers. And they're not doing anything about it. Now, there might be a reason why they're not doing anything about it. Maybe they just can't or something. But I promise you that helping these people, helping the people that are joining your boot camps... Helping them learn algorithms, helping them try to get an internship at a, even a small startup company, even a small company that, that requires some sort of a, a software developer to be there. It's going to be a lot more helpful for them in their career than three weeks of each class. I'm just saying from personal experience, because that's my biggest problem that I've been having to look for a job. That people are asking me coding questions that I have no clue how to do. They're asking me for experience that I don't have. And if I'm able to put at least four months of experience at, you know, so-and-so company as a software developer doing a front-end JavaScript for them and being able to show them that work will go a lot long, a long way. But yeah, guys, I mean, I don't want to make this video any longer. I, I'm sorry if, you know, I came off a little strong. I just want people to know the flaws that are out there. And I don't want people to get robbed from their money. I don't want people to waste their time. If you feel like a boot camp is still for you, by all means, I went through it. I enjoyed it. Um, I can't say that. I didn't enjoy it. I did enjoy it. It was stressful, but I did enjoy it. Um, I'm not going to comment on was it worth it or not. Um, because in a way it was, but as you guys can see through my list, this is any boot camp, not just one in particular, but any boot camp is it's just there's a lot of flaws, and I feel like boot camps have a long way to go before they can replace a four year degree. <laughs> Once they can fix these flaws, and the answers are right there in front of them. Once they can fix these flaws, I feel like. It's going to be a better option than a four-year university. Uh, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. I am sorry that, you know, I just seem like a little angry. Uh, I'm not. I'm, I just want to make sure people get this knowledge across and people actually um, um, make sure, you know, that, that, that all this is out there before they, they, they commit themselves to something. Or, you know, they quit their job so they can do a boot camp because I have read that people have literally quit their jobs to, to join a coding boot camp. So please, 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 um, please give me a, you know, if you're new here, subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Also comment down below what type of videos you guys want to see. Um, I do do my research. I do go into debt on some of these things. So, yeah, just please let me know. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.